good day everybody and what's up this is just a quickie for selfless sex and she comes first and today's topic involves horny female athletes to explain i have to give a shout out to three people coach jazz aka miss smooth jazz coach Ree, also known as miss slipknot and my personal favorite head coach or my head coach or head coach um Lauren, a.k.a. Miss Panic at the Disco, and or a.k.a. Miss Breaking Benjamins. To be serious for a hot second, all of those, all these three women who I just mentioned play at the top levels of their respective sports. And they are physically fit. And to make this more general, your lady may also exercise a lot. She may be physically fit. She may go to the gym. She may just may take care of herself and CrossFit and other things like that. So, somehow, there was a conversation that was going on between these three ladies, and they were wondering, is there a connection between being physically fit and athletic and, quote-unquote, being horny all the time? So they asked me like to look into it, and I said I would. And uh, some of the things I found were pretty interesting. So let's get into that really quickly. Well, I didn't find a definitive answer on being uh, physically fit and being horny all the time, but I found a couple studies that may add a bit of clarity to it, so I wanna start there. And the first study I'm gonna mention came from 2010, and it, it compared um, sedentary females or females who were not physically active and physically fit to those women who actually are physically fit and exercise a lot. And this study found that there was actual better clitoral blood flow and also better sexual functioning in the women who were physically active and more physically fit. And just to add to that, a study from 2003 kind of backed up the same, same idea. So there's something going on there between being active and having better clitoral blood flow and having better sexual function. Another study found that there is a sweet spot when it comes to exercise. And they found that women who exercise around 20 minutes at a moderate level, not high level or low level, but a moderate level, experienced higher genital arousal compared to women who exercise at a very low level or at a very high level, so they didn't really overdo it. They were at like 70% of maximum, quote unquote, 70% 70, 70 of maximum. So my question is this, where I can see the moderate level of exercise causing an increased level of clitoral blood flow, but does that clitoral blood flow tie into increased clitoral sensitivity? That's my question. And finally, there seems to be a negative impact to one's sexual health for those women who are engaged in training for the endurance sports like triathlons and marathons and events and sports like that because there seems to be a decrease in sexual desire in that population. And from the study I read, it kind of makes sense there seems to be a steep drop in hormone production, which is possibly related to their diet and or low body fat. So there's something going on there. So it seems if you're going to engage in exercise and being physically fit and sports, that's all fine and good, but you just can't overdo it unless that's your thing. I mean, if that's your sport of choice, have at it. But if you're just trying to be physically fit and just be like more healthy and more health conscious. You're going to the gym, you're doing CrossFit and things like that. That's probably fine. And at the same time, after being horny all the time, quote unquote horny all the time, I'm not really sure. And with that said, I do have my own idea about that. So in closing, I just want to say this. Maybe there is some sort of connection between being physically fit and athletic and quote unquote being horny all the time. But you know what? Maybe you just like to have sex. 
you probably have a healthy appetite for sex, and you're enjoying your sexual health. And you know what? That's a damn good thing. So I will say this. If you're going to keep playing at those same high levels, just maybe not overdo it because that can have a negative impact on your sexual desire. But other than that, have at it. And I will close by talking to the fellas really quick. Fellas, listen, pay attention. Because, yes, your lady may have all kinds of awards and plaques and trophies and everything else and be physically fit and be physically strong. All that's great. But do not forget to treat her like a lady. That's important. Because remind her, chivalry is not dead. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.